What an embarrassing uh, weekend it has been for the media. I mean, uh, utterly childishly silly embarrassing. I knew it was going to happen. The minute I heard about the shooting, got on the horn with some people, said, you wait, it's in the template, it's going to follow. So predictable, so childish, so immature. And it has led to a, a number of people making abject fools of themselves. The sheriff of Pena County has made a fool of himself. I don't know if he knows it yet or not. Most in the state-controlled media, the drive-by media, <laughs> illustrating why we call them the drive-by media, literally making fools of themselves to take an incident like this and to try to turn it into a political advantage by accusing you with this sordid, unfortunate event, accomplices to murder. It's silly on its face. It is beneath the people who made the attempt, but it's who they are. Now, what they've done is essentially take aim at a majority of the people in this country. A majority of the people in this country identify more with the Tea Party movement than with the Democrat Party today and with liberalism. <clears throat> this is not 1988. This is not 1993 when this program was the only new media out there and they still had the ability to control the message. They had the ability to suppress the news they didn't want anybody to hear about. They had, frankly, total control over what was news, what wasn't news, and what uh, was commentary on the news. And ever since, they have lost that monopoly in the media. They have been their own version, and to one degree or another, insane. Now, one of the first acts of insanity is to take an obviously deranged, insane, irrational kid and try to analyze him with sanity and with rationality. We're talking about a genuinely mentally disturbed kid. My question is, who are the parents of this kid? I, I find it fascinating that the media Many in the Democrat Party want to try to blame people who don't know this kid. The kid never knew. The kid never heard. The kid never was exposed to. Uh, they want to try to blame people genuinely who are ancillary, who are irrelevant to this, for what the kid did for pure political reason. And there is a pure political reason for this. And I'm going to tell you what. I and let me do this here at the outset, folks, because this is what. All of this is really all about. It is all political. I was blamed for the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. We all know that uh, Mark Penn said that an Oklahoma City type event is what Obama's going to need if he wants to get the American people back. After 9-11 happened, Democrats are running around lamenting that it did not happen on Clinton's watch. After uh, the, the Times Square shooter happened, Mayor Bloomberg, it has to be an angry Tea Party person upset at Obamacare. It's, it's the template. It's, it's the narrative. There's never any evidence. Every projection, every prediction, every association that any act of violence has been made with the conservative right has fallen on emptiness. There has never been any evidence of it. To the extent that politics is involved in assassinations, Lee Harvey Oswald, JFK, was a, he was a communist back from Moscow. Uh, these, there's one example that nobody's talked about that I'm going to cite. Remember Jim Jones? There's one sitting congressman who had actually been killed in the line of duty. His name is Leo Ryan. And this is uh, Jim Jones and that uh, cult down in Guyana. And you may not be old enough to remember that, but during the course of the program today, I'm going to refresh your memory. A full-fledged communist and Democrat... Um, killed a Democrat congressman. Now, when these types of events happen, uh, I don't recall, and I'm not aware of one conservative, one Republican, one conservative blogger making a mad dash to a microphone, a camera, or a computer to blame a Democrat or liberals for what happened in Arizona on Saturday. But a mad path was beaten. Now, don't kid yourself. What this is all about 
is shutting down any and all criminalizing it, criminalizing policy differences, at least when they differ from the Democrat Party agenda. One of the one of the more disturbing things about this incident is that, that someday the left will finally get their wish. One of these days it's going to happen, and this is all setting the table for it. Groups are large. Many people populate groups, and within any large group of people, a sample is going to find those who are unstable, deranged, and so forth, like this kid. Uh, you are eventually, at some point, going to probably find somebody who could be more closely identified with a particular political movement. This kid's just a nut.